In this video, I'm going to share with you how you can change the fonts on your Shopify website. Maybe you want to change this font on a specific section. I'm going to share with you how you can do that on your Shopify website. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to go to your code files and you want to do a search for base.css. So let me restart so that you can see what I mean. So come in here, type in base.css like this. Click on that. The next thing that you want to do is you want to find what it is that you're targeting. So for this example, we want to target the headings on the website. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a search for H1 like this. Okay, and it should take me to something like this, targeting all the different headers, headings on the website. Whatever you want to target, do a search for that. But for this example, we're going to target the headers. So you see that the heading already has a font. This is a font that's used throughout the whole website, Poppins. But let's say you want to change it to something else. Now we need to go and actually get that font. So the next step is we're going to go to Google Font. So let's come in here. Type in Google Fonts. All right, let's go to Google Fonts. Now let's find a font here that we can use that's going to be clearly different and will show up. So let's see here. Um, let's see what kind of get something like this. Something that's going to be like a clear, visible difference so that we can see that the font has changed. So we're going to come in here like this. Come down here. Select regular four hundred. Okay, so we have this all this code here. So now what you please your next step. You see how it says, first we're going to look down here. So come to where it says CSS rules to specify families. Come in here, copy this like this. Make sure it's copied. Okay, good. Come back to your code file and right below your previous, um, hold on, this. right below your previous code, you just want to come and comment this out like this, where there's command and then the slash to comment that out and save this. But it's not going to work 100% because if you save this, Come back to our file, and we see that it didn't change. What it did was it reverted to the default sans serif. It didn't change to the same or one. That's because we still have to add this link to our file. So here's the next thing that you want to do is where how it says link here. I personally, you can do either one, the link or the import. For this example, we're going to do import. So again, once you've added this to your base.css, come back to Google Fonts switch from link to import. You can, for this example, that's what we're gonna do. You wanna copy this code here. This is again, importing that font into our code. So now what we wanna do is because for this example, we are targeting, excuse me. All right, so for this example, we want to target this slideshow here. So what we're going to do is let's come in here and type in, Slash it because we don't want to charge, we don't want to change it throughout the whole website. Now, if you did, you would not you you wouldn't do it this way. You'd create a new asset file. But for this example, we just want to change it on the slideshow. So what we're going to do is we're going to come in here, slideshow.liquid, and right at the very top, paste this in, import that code into our code file. Save that. Come here, refresh the page. Boom, you see it changed. And you see a change here as well, because this is all part of that slideshow. And that's simple. Now, if you notice here, if you go to another website, I mean, another, another website, another page, you see that the heading didn't change. Come here, you see it didn't change. It only changed on the slideshow. And that's because we've only put this on the slideshow. Now, if you wanted to change the headings on every single, on every single header on the website, so like, for instance, for this example, we just changed for the slideshow. But if you want to do it for every single header on the whole website, it will be done a little bit differently. You'd have to create a new assets file and then import it like this. So that way it changes through each H1. And then you, you, you put this, you'd have this font file like this, the same one one you would have, and then it would target every single header on your website. But for this example, we just wanted to change it here on the slideshow. And if you don't like it, if you want to change it back, all you have to do is simply remove this, 
come and uncomm your previous version and then also come back in here and then remove that. So save this, save this, come back here, refresh the page, and it should go back to how it was before. So that's how you can change the fonts of your Shopify website to give each section different fonts depending on how you want it to look.